Hello and welcome. Today I'm in Rybnik in southern Poland and I've got here a new vehicle to demonstrate. It is called the S Camper and this is the first one. A 636 centimeter long Citroen high roof, four sleeping places in a most unusual layout. This is the first time you've seen this layout in any vehicle. And so let's come in. See what I mean? You have never seen that one before, have you? Now, uh, let's go to the, well, let's go to this. Yeah, have a look inside this. Isn't this a particularly nice uh, washroom? We've got the sensible sliding door, as I always say. And bring you, I'll bring you in here, show you there's a lot of, a lot of space in here. Nice, nice duckboard. I'm into duckboards, as, uh, as you'll know. And let's close the, the bathroom here door. And let's just pretend I'm having a shower. So, right, okay, lots of space here. Look at all this. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. <laughs> How many camper vans yeah, give you this much space? That's enormous. So, uh, and also this way as well. Bear in mind, it's 205 centimeters external width, so that's pretty good. Um, the shower is here, obviously, it comes out. This thing here has, as you'd expect, and then it goes up there so uh, I like that that's a very large washroom now here's the bed we'll have a look more at the bed in a moment but it does form this sort of this bench here for use during the day should you want to and let's have a look at the bench in action There's me on the bench. So, uh, if you want to sort of sit here, I suppose you, you could do. I mean, it's not as comfortable as being up there. But here is the outer door. And uh, if you wanted to open the door and go outside, then, uh, or, or look outside or admire the, whatever the outside is. Burstner did something along these lines a few years ago. But that was in a motorhome, though. Uh, along these lines, not quite the same at all. But uh, anyway... Uh, I'll show you how the bed works uh, right now. So let's uh, let's come up here. So uh, the bed has, as you'd expect, it's going to have to have a stand somewhere for the uh, the lower part. So the lower part comes out like this. There we go. And now I think that's the as far as it'll go. So the first thing I'll do is to make the lower bed. There we go. So there's the lower bed. You might just want one bed. So you might want to take the other one out. I'll just, just make that point. And then what we do is we press this button here. And this comes out in two parts. Bear in mind, of course, that with these motors, they can only be used uh, up and down a couple of times every 10, 15 minutes. I don't see it now continuing to move. Oh, can you see that? I, mean, I don't know, don't know how, how good the, the video is coming out. So there you have two beds. Aha, uh -huh. how do you get them? Now this here can take 200 kilos at present, which is a little bit more than what is normal. Uh, 
there's the ladder but before you have a look at the ladder let's have a look at the kitchen so we've got this Dometic uh, uh, two-way fridge or electric fridge as I prefer to call it because uh, electric well, gas is three-way and we've got some you know sort of drawers here for the kitchen as well uh, right here okay workspace for the kitchen and two burners Dometic plus sink and uh, here we've got an extractor as well for the uh, for the above the kitchen now what I'll do is I'll get out the ladder Bear in mind, I'm doing this with one hand, and you'd probably be doing it with two. Because normally, you're not carrying a camera around with you. And that, that fits on there. Like that. There you go. Put your steps up into bed. Now, people say to me, get a wider camera angle. Well, it's already pretty wide, it's already 119 um degree so and it does have a bit of distortion at the ends anyway so uh right now um i'm going to take you out the back now so see what it's like here we have an additional support here for the uh, for the bed should that, should that be required there you go of course that has to be taken before taking the thing down that will have to be taken in uh, fuses are here and here we have the cassette toilet. There you go. So, you can sleep with <laughs> the uh, rear open, should you so desire. I've done that in a VW camper. I think also this here though, we get a very good idea of the benefits of the extra high roof. Now, uh, uh, the high roof will of course uh, burn more fuel than a low roof uh, but it does have these advantages of living and I think that's really more important than the fuel consumption you saw in the toilet what it actually gave as far as headroom is concerned and look what we've got actually here as well now if I come in here we can see that there's light lighting in uh, under here and uh, there's also a plug uh, let's go back inside because it's difficult for me to actually operate the camera <laughs> now uh, you might think okay well there's not a lot of room under here and I would agree with that that's not a huge amount of room uh, but you're gonna have to uh, store your stuff somewhere now how is this open There you go. Uh, lighting under here. Very easy to open these things. And uh, let's come across this one. That's for the extractor fan. And you can see how large they are. Now, uh, additional light. We've got two large Dometic skylights and of course there's one in the toilet as well. Additional storage is provided. There's something under the bed and we've got here a wardrobe. We've got below down here 
bit of storage. And up here as well. I like the indirect lighting for this. Now bear in mind the outer shape of the vehicle is such that there's not it's not very much space there, but there's further there's more at the bottom. Now coming to the semi-dinette, what we've got here, these are chairs that will move. Uh, you can move them backwards and forwards, you can incline them more, let's have a look from outside. You can also pull the chairs out as well, so that you don't want to be too close to the person you're there who's sit sitting next to you. You can actually do that as well. Now a number of vehicles are actually offering this, I think Knaus started offering it. Uh, a few years ago uh, and um, uh, there's another Polish company as well which uh, op offers this type of solution in fact there's two now uh, offering it Affinity and the Globe Traveller and uh, so you see the front and uh, one thing in the bulwark there is quite a lot of space there's far more space than you normally get in something like this up here Let's have a look now at the, uh, we've got here this uh, uh, Cimmerine um, panel, which I think is quite, quite curious. So let's have a look, what's this do? Uh, you can see there what the batteries are doing. So uh, uh, how much the fridge is taking, well it's turned off at the moment, how much is actually leaving the uh, battery, so it's at 6.8. Amps currently, so we can see we're on 51% at the moment, and uh, it's not charging the solar while we're in indoors, so that's not charging either. Uh, how much water is in its system? That's clean water and uh, uh, grey water, and there's the temperature inside, outside, and uh, battery temperature. And this is quite curious because it, this is how the uh, the vehicle's actually standing. So if you wanted to uh, try to get more stable, you could start looking on here. I know it's a bit fiddly, but uh, to me this seems as it, it's perfectly fat, flat. But uh, from that we can see that it isn't. And if you want to know what the weather is, so there you've got your barometer. And uh, there's your, your time and uh, millibars and and how much I'm oh, sorry how much uh, um, time the battery can continue at the current rate of use I think that's what it's meant to be anyway so I said in this case it's just about six hours uh, it's got a Truma 4E system and uh, which I've sort of demonstrated in previous videos. Right, so the, the captain's chairs are around here. We've got special captain's chairs, and it's not the ones that come with the vehicle. Uh, I'll just have a sit down in this now. There you go, there's the view down here. This is a particularly comfortable chair. I'll just pr demonstrate. So there's me in the captain's chair. Oh, it seems a bit... Maybe the light's not particularly good, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is a very original layout. Here, don't know, look at me, you'd rather see the van. I appreciate that this isn't for everybody, but there was somebody the other day asked me once for a bet that it's in a, uh, a van of this size, a camper van of this size. So this is actually uh, meeting that requirement. Um, so, I mean, what do you think? Uh, is this the sort of thing if you want to take the kids with you? Now, in Poland, uh, because of the people who buy it, there is more de requirement for 
um, more beds. I mean, I'm normally dead against more beds, but as, as the people who buy vans in Poland tend to be in their 40s and, and not in their 60s, which suggests that they may have kids to take with them. So then that does make uh, some sense. If I remember rightly, clean water is 75 and grey water is 93 litres if I recall correctly. Uh, we've got down there two USBs and uh, I think that's about it from uh, being inside. Oh sorry the table didn't mention that and it's obviously got an extension bit at the bottom so you'll get an extra one third more or less from the table. Good! Uh, that's it then. Yeah, I'll close this because I like to leave it looking uh, neat. And now what we're going to do is I'll take you up to have a look at what's happening on the roof. So let's now have a look at it from this position. So we can see the roof and what we've got on the roof, we've got two large roof windows we've got the small one or the standard one i should say really over the toilet bathroom we've got this large dometic aircon unit and we've also got the solar panel as well so that uh, should help you stay on the road uh, off grid On the outside of the vehicle, we have this really long Tula Omnistore awning, which I think is the longest one they do for camper vans, I think. But it's a, it's a quality uh, brand. Now, one thing we'll say about the price, whilst I mentioned this, is that 90,000 might seem a fair whack of cash, but it is a quality product and it does have quality fittings which I think, I hope, I have demonstrated. So, uh, let's put the bed back. First thing I'm going to do though to put the bed back is I'm going to put the ladder away and as I need two hands to do that you're not going to see me do it so yeah I'll take the ladder I'll start to take the ladder down so let's put the bed down now first thing we're going to have to do I'm doing this from the rear just to make it easier uh, for me to film is to put this thing here down so let's take that thing there down Right, as you can see, it's still holding up with that problem. That does, of course, though, gives an extra little bit of support to people, uh, well, 200 kilos. Well, I know there are couples who are way more than that, so. That's, right, now let's come inside and go here. And now oh, you want to watch the bed, don't you? Not, not that. So let's put this. By the way, right, don't you think? Do you, would you rather have this in a manual, for example? Or would you rather have it electric? First stage. And you can see now it's going up rather slowly, but it's going up.
So that's now up. Next thing to do is to tuck in this part of the bed. And then let's put this in away. And let's make this neat. So, uh, what about storage? There's a bit of storage down here as well, which I'll show you now. Now, uh, battery and power will depend on what the customer orders. Obviously, I sort of recommend to everybody that they get um, a lithium kit. There's your aircon unit. Obviously, it's 230, so it, you need to be on shore power. And there's an extra couple of USBs there. Engine size depends on what Citroen have to order, but I need to have available and more than more the point because they've got a, a, a choices. But in the current market, uh, this uh, it's there's not so much of a choice as there was before COVID. And I've also got um, shore power as well, and uh, there are a couple more USBs. That's quite handy because you can sort of leave the thing at your phone charge and then. Anyway, uh, something like that. Good, I think that's just about it. Uh, thanks uh, very much for watching and uh, hope you found that of interest. Uh, there's lots more vehicles on this channel, should you be so interested. So if so, then you might want to subscribe. All the best from me in Rybnik, Silesia, Southern, Poland.